Good afternoon, everyone. Today I will be informing you about the government operation that's called Fast and Furious. I'm going to tell you what exactly it is, what's being done about it, and why it's so important. In late 2009, five people met at the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Farms, and Explosives to come up with a plan to combat illegal weapon smuggling into Mexico and the Mexican drug cartels. The five men were U.S. District Attorney David Burke, General Attorney Eric Holder, and then three ATF agents, David Voff, William Newell, and Agent Dotson, whose first name has not been revealed. They came up with a plan that was designed to target Mexican drug cartels and their leaders. They decided that in order to ignore the little fish, they'd have to fry the big fish instead. They decided to target the senior members of the drug cartels by arresting them for smuggling. What they did was, they went to a lot of mom and pop gun, not like Walmart, but like Dick and Jane's Gun Emporium along the border of Phoenix and Mexico and told them to sell guns to straw buyers. Let it go, don't impose any limits, sell as much as you possibly can. The gun owners did not want to do this. They said no. ATF told them, you need to do this, otherwise we will charge you with obstructing justice. The gun stores backed up and said, okay, we're going to sell to straw buyers. For those of you who don't know, a straw buyer is someone who goes in and buys something illegal, such as a gun, or tobacco, firearms, cigarettes, alcohol, and gives it to someone else. The gun store owners decided, okay, if we have to do this, you know, out ATF, could you please give us some sort of letter or recommendation that will absolve us? The gun store owners had a meeting and said, could we please have a letter that will alleviate some of the concerns that we will have backlash for this. The ATF said, no, no letter. Keep doing it though, otherwise we're gonna take you to jail. So, okay, can we have some, any sort of, you know, letter? The ATF denied them any sort of request whatsoever. None. So the gun store owners accepted this because if they didn't, they'd go to jail. So, they sold, and over 2,000 guns were sent over the border and lost. 2,000 weapons completely gone. Weapons, ammunition, the whole shebang. And they still haven't been found. So far, around three, actually 300 have been found, and they've all been found at violent uh, crime scenes, including murder, rapes, and homicides. That's 300 guns out of 2,000 have been found. The rest are still missing. The weapons that were lost. Fully automatic assault rifles were sold, including ammunition. 50 caliber weapons, this is a big issue now the Mexican police are trying to fight. Grenade launchers were sold to the Mexican cartels through legal and illegal means. And anti-aircraft weaponry, stuff that can shoot down airplanes, were lost. In a recent raid, the cartels have been used, uh, the weapons the cartels have been used to fight off the Mexican federal police have been ridiculous. Four military-grade helicopters tried to raid a cartel drug house and couldn't do it. They were rebuffed with 50 caliber snipers that had been sold to the cartels through U.S. gun stores. A 50 caliber sniper rifle shot through all the helicopters, straight through it, pierced it, and shot one of them down. For those of you who haven't played Call of Duty, this is what a 50 caliber sniper rifle will do. That is ballistics gel. It has the same equivalent consistency of human flesh. As far as the ATF concerned, this doesn't exist. That's why nothing's being done about it. The ATF has denied its existence completely and utterly. This was a letter sent to Senator Grassley, who was sent by Congress to investigate Operation Fast and Furious. If you'll pay attention to the part I highlighted, dear Senator Gasly, at the outset, the allegation described in your January 22nd letter that ATF sanctioned or otherwise knowingly allowed the sale of assault weapons to a straw purchaser, purchaser who then transported them into Mexico is completely false. ATF makes every effort to interdict weapons that have been purchased illegally and prevent their transportation to Mexico. In other words, a bold-faced lobby. Congress hasn't had the time to come up with a solution for this because until this past February, 
they finally had evidence. A ATF agent, uh, Valco Sarul, came out and told Congress, look, this is wrong and my position's on the line, but I will tell you anyway. The ATF has been doing this and something needs to be done. The ATF fired him and made up reasons about it that he proved were false for his uh, termination. They said uh, he had foul language, came into work with bad hygiene. He went around to his place of work and got every single other agent who he worked with to sign letters of rec recommendation that said they were false. In addition to that, now that the ATF uh, district manager has finally come out and said, okay, I didn't even know about this, because the five men didn't tell anyone. They didn't tell Mexico, they didn't tell their higher-ups, and they're still denying that it exists. U.S. Attorney Eric Holder, one of the head honchos of this operation, their, his emails have been published. I couldn't get them because Congress has pulled them off every available internet source, so he's not targeted. And he still denies it. His emails, his signature, everything denied. It's also important because Mexico is not happy with us. Maria Gonzalez, her brother, was kidnapped, tortured, killed, and forced to make a videotape confession, confession that his sister was under cartel rule when she wasn't. And the weapons that were used to kill him were linked to Operation Fast and Furious. Mexico wasn't told at all. They are not happy with us. They received no apology in any way, shape, or form. People are dying every day due to this operation. Since 2009, over 50,000 people have been killed in Mexico. And again, only 300 of the weapons lost have been found, and all at violent crime scenes. The only reason this operation has come under government scrutiny is because four government agents, two ICE agents, Immigration and Customs, were killed, and two DEA agents were killed. They were killed because in Mexico, DEA agents are not allowed to have weapons. And they were shot to death by AK-47s. So I urge you all to please contact a congressman, inform him about this, try to get awareness out. It's very important. Thank you.